Hi, it's Tracy at Worlds and Swirls Quilting. Here's today's design of the day. We're going to do some pumpkins today. This design, my daughter sat with me last night while I was doodling. And she said, what you doing? Even though she knows what I'm doing. And she sat with me and she said, do pumpkins. I said, oh, that's a good idea. And then she said, like this. And she showed me a pumpkin, and it was the coolest thing. So, thanks, baby girl. So we're going to do pumpkins. My daughter's brilliant. She's 13. She's so talented. She sings like an angel. She draws, she paints, she decorates cakes. Anyway, so... It's this weird shape. I'm just gonna stitch out a few for you and then we'll go and I'll actually show you the shape. And we're just gonna sort of meander around. I like to put these little tendrils on there because pumpkins have those. And although this isn't terribly realistic, you know, we do what we can where we can. This one's a deformed one. There. Isn't that cute? I think that's cute. And it's the perfect time of year. So I'm going to use my ditch. Let's put one in here, just a little one. And I'm just basically using loops to get from one to the other here. You can use whatever you want. You can do a stipple or... Okay, so, sort of bounce out and bounce in right into here. And then we're just going to do that, okay? Do the stem, the tendril, which I guess would be the vine, and carry on. Put some leaves in there every now and then. Try and do one upside down. One, two, change direction. So you're basically going with the curve that you've created. It's like a little echo. See, this is what happens when I don't cordon myself in. I didn't stitch my square that I always stitch. And I've covered over half a meter of fabric. So... There's a reason I cut myself off. Here we go. Isn't that fun? Oh, that one. This is the one that got squashed under the tractor wheel. I got caught on my cord, so I got... There we go. I'll do one more and make it really nice. And then we'll leave it at that. In, in, into about the center. Change direction. And you're basically just echoing the shape of the outside. And add a leaf. There we go. Isn't that cute? So thank you, Miss Lucy, for our design of the day. Make sure you take time to doodle. We'll see you tomorrow. Everyone have a great day. Bye.